You just need to have faith. When Jesus comes through for you, you will live and be greater than you were in the beginning. But the problem is one. When a tree is cut, the devil disorganizes people's lives, confuses them, begins to speak to them. It is finished. No more hope. It is gone. Those things are, are only said about other people. But there's Jesus. We call him a protocol breaker. Amen. Amen. A, a, a protocol. He breaks all protocol. Praise the Lord. All those things that you say that when you after a bicycle you have to ride a motorcycle then from a motorcycle then you buy an old car. God can break all that protocol. You don't buy a bicycle and you start with a brand new one. Hallelujah. Amen. Those things that people can say that you have to first have to have to God can give you for and you start with that as your capital and you keep proceeding God can give you money and you buy a house without even renting it protocol breaker Amen. so the, the devil came to kill to steal and to destroy. But I really once I see my thing dead, I, I don't wait. I rush it very fast. And I tell you, release the breath of life because you're the life Whoever life believes in you, will die. Die. even when they die, they will live. Everyone will die. die. If your money dies, if your mind is right, everything dies. Go and receive life in the name of Jesus. He was manifested to destroy the works, not the worker. The demons told Jesus. <laughs> Have you come to destroy us before our time? They, they know that he has the final authority to destroy them. But they know the timing. So Jesus told them to shut up. Don't you ever say anything more. They started the gossip, you're a son of God. And he muted them. That familiar I know that you know very well that has in heaven. Don't you ever say anything. Holy Spirit, it is only the Holy Spirit that speaks. Why did he mute the spirits? It is not the devil who has to speak about what concerns Jesus. No. It is the Spirit of God that has to testify about Jesus. There's a girl who was there in the times of Paul. Paul had failed to understand this girl. But the Lord helped him discern. When he entered one city, there was a girl who had demons and he would prophesy for the entire city. When she saw that Paul had power, you know even witches fear us. Do you know that? You might even find that there are some of, of them among us. You think that you will <laughs> watch and learn. You cannot learn anything from us apart from when you get saved. They come to church and watch. Yeah. What kind of power is this? Uh, which judge is this? Which witch is this? <laughs> this is not your judge. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. This is the Holy Spirit. Now that girl, when she saw Paul, she saw the miracles. And she saw the deliverances that Paul was doing. And she said, okay. A wise person. This one is going to rob my show. 
Kaya galo kumega taku kabesho. Oh, she wanted to join. Kala gabe chivuga. So that she shows everyone in the Nchi. city. Bali bumu. That they're in one accord. Eh? Or they're together. Either I can't even open kadanga ni kabagamba. She must have said that. Jesus said what man. And told them that it's me who has empowered him. Wapa ibule ganke kasa bili ange chivuga. Because the Bible says that she's the one who used to. Ba maya bonanga ba geenda wako. All the mayors would go to her. Now every time Paul would be moving Now I'm telling you people who don't read the Bible <laughs> She would keep saying This is a servant of God This is a servant of God She would speak words testifying on behalf of Paul The Bible says that she did this for quite a long time For so many days But the Paul, Paul's spirit was not in one accord with her spirit You know someone can come to church But they are not of church They have some intentions but a spirit that discerns can discover that this person is not a part of us. There were so many overnight prayers that, uh, in which so many people of the like would come. There's one person who was seated around that place and I was standing over there and they, they thrust themselves to the ground as preaching. I told the ushers just leave that person alone let them feel the pain and let them enjoy their fall they wanted to show me that they were demon possessed that I should go and pray for them they stayed there and got up uh, and, and recollected themselves and sat, sat in the chair even you people who think that you're pretending we know you another person was seated over there and they started screaming I told them please don't mind them I said I will not pray for you you're just there confusing me now you come and thrust yourself to the crowd the people who are saying now let's attract his attention let's pretend we are slain so that he can focus all his attention on us you know what I will do? You just fall to the ground that the, the pastor will anoint you. No. I don't just anoint people. And if you cast yourself to the ground, and that, that, that fall is so painful, I'll just leave you. No one will touch you. I know you city dwellers with your wisdom. Very cunning. Do you know what Paul did? When he saw that the girl was screaming about him, I think whatever I'm saying is read for them maybe when they go back they can enjoy that story. Uh -huh. um, Act 16 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Verse 1. Sixteen, sixteen. 16. Thank you so much. It says, uh, now it happened mm. as we went to prayer mm. that a certain slave girl possessed with a spirit of divination met us mm. who brought her masters much profit by fortune telling. Mm. This girl followed Paul and us and cried mm. out saying, mm. these men are the servants of, of the most high God mm. who proclaim to us the way of salvation. Mm. And this she did for many days. Mm. But Paul greatly annoyed Mm. turned and said to the spirit mm. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her mm. and he came out that very hour mm. but when her masters saw that their hope of profit was gone mm. they seized Paul and Silas mm. and dragged them into the marketplace to the authorities mm. and they brought them to the magistrates and said mm. these men being Jews exceedingly trouble our city mm. and they teach customs which are not lawful for us Amen I was trying to malign them because they cast out the demons from this girl. But from, listen, you can be shocked at a person who is speaking. These are servants of God who preach the word. You understand? You see as if this person is a part of you. But she bought And once Paul cast he cast it out. And the city uh, disorganized because. They were so shocked to see this greatly possessed girl slain. 
Praise the Lord. Now listen today. Jesus was manifested yes, to Jesus destroy the works of the devil. But first get to know the devil and his works. For us we know this. Even when you come to church we can know you. Just like Paul was able to tell this girl. We can know you. That you're not for us. You're just after our belongings. Can't you see the devil's works? Can't you see that the money that was increasing is now decreasing? Subtraction is not divine. Even your, year, your age has never subtracted itself, it just keeps. Coming. Even when God said, the sign that He used was a cross. It means that he came to add unto us more life. Subtraction is not a sign of the kingdom. You will grow from glory to glory. The devil is a liar. But for you, don't you see? Instead of increasing, you are decreasing. It means that there is a spirit behind. You have to arrest. And you have the authority. The Bible says, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. You have the authority to bind. Praise the Lord. Whatever you see in the physical, there's a control of the same in the invisible realm. Once you see that it is bad, just know that the controller is wicked. And you have the authority to attack the controller. The controller. Now it's up to you to know that the good doesn't come from a bad source. Good water comes from a good source. And also bad water comes from a bad source. Those are Jesus' words. He's the one who said that. No, no, no. The Bible says that every plantation that my father never planted shall be a person. You can also see but these fruits are not from our father. Mm -mm. No. If these fruits are not from our father then that means that the tree that is bringing forth this fruit is not of our father. What do I have to do? God gave us the ministry of destruction. Let's do our part. You can tell him, God, give me money. But if you see the fruits that, in, in, that your money is getting subtracted, if you see the fruits that are Delay. coming your way, Amen. Amen. Rejection. Those are fruits from a bad tree. And you have the power to uproot. Amen. Amen. You pull up from the root. Amen. Amen. You pull all the roots of that plantation. Because the fruits are not the fruits of God. Look at your family. Look at your children. Look at your husband. Look at your wife. Can't you see the works of the devil? And slowly by slowly. Your child has excelled in that. They are very wise, even that the teachers are very surprised. And now, now in midterm exams they come out last. For you can't you see that that is the work of the devil? In my office they once brought a child. And the mother was very perplexed. The child was in P6. 
The child was very wise. And the parents Sorry, and the teachers I had a lot of hope in this child. So much hope. Now in, in, in second term city parents. The school is called city parents. The second term the child started performing poorly. After the holiday, the first term holiday. So they called all the parents at the school. And they asked, what do you do to your child? Is there a maid that mistreats them? Do you mistreat them at home? How, how can their performance deteriorate like this? And the parents told the teachers. The truth is there's nothing that has ever changed about that child. And they were like, but what is happening? Mama the mother went in death. I rather was so bothered. And if it were not God, she would have gone to the shrine. But with a lot of sorrow, she went and told her friend about it. Her friend was like, no. Even if you're Catholic, when we, when we encounter problems, it's as if we've gone to hospital. Because uh, in hospitals they don't have a discriminate among religions. Seventh day, a Catholic, a Muslim, Muslim, and Adventists can all go and meet and have a check up with the doctor. It was like I have a, a, a pastor who can pray for the child. So this person made an appointment. And I gave them time. And I, I saw the child. But the Holy Spirit was good. He helped me. I asked the lady. Where did this child have the holidays from? And they told me from the grandparents. And I asked them for the mother the grandparent had given the child. And they looked at me in shock. It's as if I was already at the home. And I, told, I asked her to bring the mat that the grandparent had given the child. So they brought the mat. And I told them to also bring me a matchbox. And I told the mother, You buy another mat. Allow me burn this mat because it is the one that bears the confidence upon which the demon came. The demon that covered this child's brain. Do you know how to cover up the The polythene covered the, the child's brain. The, the brains could not grasp anything from class. I bless the Lord. When I burnt that mat, <laughs> these people are very good. They're not like some of you. They came back and thanked me. And they said that the children What did you do to your children? They're even very good. They even chat with others. They are back to their Their original selves, they're, they're performing well in class. And the lady told me, I request that you pray for my child to, to make it to Gaza High School. So I prayed for her. And God did it. At P7, she performed very well. That is the end of the story. Praise the Lord. Demons can arrest a child, can hold the child captive. Now, if the grandparents, I don't know what the grandparents are doing. And the grandparent might have done it out of the and it's as if she was saying that preserve my, my grandchild from me. But the devil is like fire. When the fire consumes, it consumes both the good and the bad. Why are, the why are you letting the devil 
He steals whatever you've commanded him to steal and that that you've not commanded him to steal. Point of contact. And there was a point of contact while we were hey, in Once God showed me that, the devil had, had already Because whatever was keeping the devil in place had, had already consumed it with so That is why we attacked the people that bring the back cloth that you were given. So but but you do not want to. The devil cannot leave your home. If you still have that back cloth with you. It it we cast him out of here and he goes home. Because what shall we inquire? This is why I've been kept. Out. Ask your neighbor, did you burn all those fetishes? Said, you dare burn them. They shall come. Don't burn those things yourselves. You bring them and we burn them for you. You bring paraffin. And you also bring yourself. After burning, we anoint you with oil. After that, then you will never see the devil in your home. But she said, No, for us, we, we were told that the day we die is the day we die. Now stop disturbing us. Let the devil torment you very well as we pity you. And then there was silence in Israel. Praise the Lord. Demons work a lot in, through a point of contact. That is why someone can come and plant, can plant witchcraft in a banana plant. You can fight with the devil. That is why also God works through a point of contact. I took that from to Paul. To pray for I can pray for a hanky. And you take it. Or a cloth. Or anointing oil. And you carry and put it on a sick person. Healing in Ebao. And then healing happens. Point of contact. Point of contact. The devil. Knows points of contact. That is why they collected dust from where you had trodden. Your new car. Because you didn't dedicate it. The devil just sees the trees of your tires, a person rather. You've, you've come out of the village. Kalule. Is your grandparents at Kalule? Come and collect that dust and they say this person is boasting that they have it. They collect a little dust from your, your cartridge. And they take it to Chabadaza. To a shrine. Jaja Mundari is Omano. Jaja, I present you. You torture them. Ulida. Listen. If I am dedicated, any dedicated thing, either to the devil or to God, dedication is a covenant. It is respected by either kingdoms. If anything was dedicated to God, it bears an anointing. I'm not talking Gari about the oil. That anointing that doesn't run dry. It is always speaking. I was dedicated. Never touch the anointed ones of God. Even if something was dedicated to the devil. This really disturbs us who are in the deliverance ministry. If someone was dedicated and you have not first broken the, the dedication, how is the dedication broken? Through salvation. If someone was dedicated to the devil and they've never been born again and they've never been filled with the spirit of God, you can break all these chairs until you buy more. Because what the devil does, he, he's always oppressing this person every time until they get fed up of church. Say, 
For me when I go I, I get no, I think I, I should just stay home. Ninga chichi. But why? Dedica- the, the, their dedication has never, has never been broken. No wongo. Even getting the wongo. out of dedication. Wongo, wongo. That things that are created, that are out of the just like back clothes, those fetishes, and you say that I'm carried them to the world. You have a rendered the dedication, the dedication of the devil. Even the clothes that you were given. The shoes that you were given. You collect all of them and pack them up and you bring him. Every time we cast the devil. Out, when he gets to your home. And finds that you let out all every belonging of his. Even if it is not the devil but it's a woman. So they've thrown my clothes outside the time of me. Amen. Amen. Ask your neighbor, did you burn the twins? <laughs> Ask them, did you burn those evil offertory baskets? Those are the, the Point of contact. In he says, you get saved. But I shall not leave you. Born against you have these things. I usually tell you of this story. Can I repeat it? I was once sent to take money to a certain family in Kasangati. I didn't know this family. And the person was just directing me on the phone. They were asking me, who are you? I'm in Kasangati. Now you drive to this place, a branch off. And he had even called the other people that there's someone who is bringing you money. It was coming to 9 p.m. And I had reached that home. I branched off. And I faced the direction from which I was coming. And I was like, how am I going to get out of the car? They must be having a dog. I don't have any relations with a dog. Amen. Amen. I don't have any relations with dogs. Today has dozens of bulange. And I moved around. I passed, uh, I went past that totem of a dog and it was designed very well. And I remember Namulindwa who works with me. And I was like, you see Namulindwa over Mukama here. Hebazibu. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> when I moved past Namulindwa, the, 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 <laughs> image of the dog, I went. I, went. <laughs> I thought that they had dogs. <laughs> then the boss came out. <laughs> the in charge came. The wife <laughs> was <laughs> in I thought the wife was inside the house. After giving them money, and I told them I, I should be on my way now. Like, but how can I live when I've not prayed for them? They're born against me. While when I was getting, up, I told them, please let's pray together. When I said, Oh Lord, <laughs> I then realized I was seeing something unusual. Open my eyes. The people I was praying for were all, were all looking at me. Someone has said they're going to pray and now they're praying. And they're seeing you for the very first time. I think they were wondering what kind of drama I had come with. So I told the man, sir. The Holy Spirit was very accurate, just like he usually is. I stood in the house and I asked, like, "Do you see this side to which I'm pointing?" Is there a pole? He was like, "Well, didn't you see it on your way in?" I was like, "But I was driving." So I asked, him, "I knew it, but I brought it in a wise way." And I told him. Were you bewitched? And I was like, why would you say that? So I told him two, two feet. Two feet. 
from the ground I'm seeing a bottle as, as a bottle of witchcraft so he looked down and he told me pastor they didn't be witch I'm the one who put it in there I called the witch that one bewitches uh, thieves I was like, now this I shall not come. I told him, go and tell your father to go and approach it because you're born again. Now, when I was about to pray, something else came up. And I told him, you know what? You usually hear something that is like a snake. <laughs> <laughs> up the ceiling and try to search for it but all in vain and I told him wait for this too does your wife smell a false smell like that Yes. and I usually contend with her with a children that are you the only one who smells that? how come we don't smell that false smell don't we have noses so I told him you know what you were long bewitched so you need to get a hold of the weapons of warfare and stand with your pastor do you know what, why I was saying that? Israel doesn't win in any battle when Moses is not behind If you them. don't have an ally, you'll die in battle. You must have a man with God, with a covenant behind you. If you know the scriptures very well. Do you know what the Bible says? Israel attacked Israel a certain country. E Who e knows the country? Um, Uganda. What do you want to do? What nation is that? And then Moses came and raised his hand and they overcame. They fought and and they fought. And his hands got weary. And they were beating. And when they were beating, the secret is in his hand. Keep them up so that we smite them that is what they do. Because his hands were still up. And then they overcame. The question is, who are they who are they fighting against? Why do you buy Bibles? Where's that? Yeah? Exodus 17. Bachi. What is the Amalekites? What is the origin of the Amalekites? The origin of Esau. Esau. From Esau. 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 Who is Esau? Son of Isaac. Mutabani one. Isaac. Muganda one. The brother to Jacob. Esau Murongo. Esau is a twin brother. Yeah? Yes. Murongo Munean. Jacob. Yakobo. Abamene Chibabaman. The Amalekites, the origin Esau. from Esau. When they were fighting against the Amalekites, they remembered and yes, and the Ark of the Covenant. Every time it is on the front line, they fight and they become oh, ark. Today we no longer have the Ark of the Covenant. But in our midst, we have men and women that God struck a victorious covenant with. Every time you're with them you overcome every time you're with them you overcome every time there's a distance between the two of you this gap the covenant is not effective association 
is what brings forth the anointing association you associate with the anointing the covenant that we have today is not the ark of the covenant of all god strikes covenant with covenants with men Amina. Amen. Any pastor who was called of God God signs a covenant with them in which he will work with them. They know that this is what I called you to do. Every time you come, you have to come with that covenant. Now let me call you Elijah. And I'm Elisha. Elijah go to heaven and live with the mantle the mantle is over here it's in this year now this is the mantle that I want strike the river with your mantle a way has been made I'm Elisha she's Elijah now go to heaven but when you're going live with the mantle go to this falls now receive now Elisha has right so I come all feeling good with my mind so I've reached before the river now I'm before the river I've struck the mantle because I saw Elijah striking the river <laughs> do you think a way was made when Elijah did it? no a way was not made and he said the mantle alone without Elijah's covenant is not effective until he said where is the God of Elijah Amen. Amen. once he said that where is the God of Elijah the mantle was clothed with power and miracles happened and he was able to cross over even if you received a mantle the anointing you respect is the anointing which works for you praise the Lord so many people sit under us and they go because they think that they were in classroom they have studied everything you can go with knowledge amen but what brings changes is not information it's revelation what brings a difference is the anointing is the covenant of that person if the covenant of Elijah did not go with Elijah he would have had an empty mantle maybe some people can help Jennifer. Second Kings. Mm. It so says, Then he took the mantle of Elijah that mm. had fallen from him and struck the water. Mm. That had fallen from him and struck the water and said, 
Where is the God of Elijah? Ah, ah. Yes, he first struck the water. And it's a, a, a way was got made. Verse 8. Verse 8. Mm. Now Elijah took his mantle, mm. rolled it up, mm. and struck the water. Ah. And it was divided this way and that. So that two of them crossed over on dry ground. Uh -huh. And so it was, mm. when they had crossed over, mm. that Elijah said to Elisha, mm. Ask what may I do for you before I'm taken away from you? Mm. Elisha said, mm. please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. Mm. So he said, you have asked a hard thing. Mm. Nevertheless, if you see me when I am taken from you, it shall be so for you. Mm. But if not, it shall not be so. Mm. Then it happened, as they continued on and talked, that suddenly a chariot of fire appeared with horses of fire and separated the two of them. Mm. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind in heaven. Mm. And Elisha saw it and he cried out, mm. My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and its horsemen. So he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and tore them into two pieces. He also took up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and went back and stood by the bank of the Jordan. Then he took the mantle of Elijah that, that had fallen from him and struck the water and said, where is the God of Elijah? And when he, when he also struck the water, it was divided this way and that, and Elisha crossed over. Praise the Lord. Where is the God of Elijah? Verse 10 said, says brother, so he said, you have asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I am taken from you, it shall be so for you. But if not, it shall not be so. Mm. Then it happened, as they continued on and talked, that suddenly a chariot of fire appeared with horses of fire mm. and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. Uh -huh. And Elisha saw it and he cried out, mm. My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and its horsemen. So he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and tore them into two pieces. He also took up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. Listen. When he saw him ascend, this is what he spoke. My father. Chitange. My father. Chitange. Once he had that, he released the mantle. My father. Chitange. My father. Chitange. You cannot take anyone's anointing until that person is your father. Amen. Amen. Some people they, they take it for granted and they just claim that one is my father. Your, that is a mere saying. But until you Show it that this person is my father. I submit under him. I serve him. You cannot take the mantle. And actually, the owner of the mantle had said, you asked a hard thing. That it was easy for him to release because he saw a child. Amen. Amen. It is your child Mwana who is supposed to take on take your ministry. Your blessings. Your worth. It takes a child. If you are not yet a child, if you are just a church goer, there are some blessings you will never get in this life. You have to believe God. And humble yourself and become a child. Amen. Amen. Until you become a child. Until you see that person who has a mantle as your father. And serve that person wholeheartedly. 
that person will never release the, the, the mantle or the anointing. What are the things we need to do? Serving, following, respecting the programs of that person. We see Elijah was moving from village to village. But Elisha insisted and said, I will follow you. Wherever you go is where I will go. I will follow you. At times, Elisha would discourage. No, Elijah, Elijah would discourage Elisha. Stay here. The Lord has sent me this sign. And he, Elijah would say, As the Lord liveth, I shall not leave you. That there's a situation that can come and it stops you from following the person who has your miracle. But it takes determination. And you said, no matter what, as the Lord lives, I shall not leave you. Man. And afterwards, he released the mantle for him. But even if Elijah released the mantle of Elijah, he had to mention the God of Elijah. There are so many people who have not been able to make it in ministry. Why? They don't have fathers. Number one. Number two, when they are ministering, they don't talk about their fathers. It is as if the generation began with them. No, it didn't begin with you. There's a source of, of, of the anointing that, that caused you to do that. Why don't you talk about your father? You didn't drop There's an anointing that crafted you. Even if your father is not around. Even if you're abroad. Humble yourself. And talk about the God of your father. Amen. Amen. The river shall part ways. The names that were anointed by God. And even the name Paul said, we know Paul and Jesus know, but who are you? Amen. There's a name that God anointed. And the moment he the demons are just say one to us. Jesus got a new name. You can sing along. Flirting song. Amen. Amen. The God of uh, Pastor Serada works. The God of Kayanja works. That the God of Kaiwa works. That the God of Musisi works. God anoints. Anoints men. And he promotes their names. Praise the Lord. The name of Jesus was raised, was lifted. Amen. Amen. At the mention of it, all demons bow. Amen. Amen. Those men who are demon possessed. Acts 19. Once they had. The demon said you. We know Paul. Paul we know Paul. And Jesus do we know. But who are you? There's a time. When the situation before you. Knows Pastor Luwama. Now when you break off that name It's as if you've gone away from the covenant For us we attack under the covenant And we overcome 
There are some things that wouldn't have attained had in Jesus overcome them. That is why you cannot take because that is the foundation upon which I stand. Even when I go to the end, Jesus took me and I say in the name of Jesus because the name of Jesus rules over all. How many of you are angry? Who are very willing to know these things of, of going to church on Eastern Christmas? Yes, you see? Have you heard the song? Wherever the sun shines, his kingdom spreads over all. It spreads over all. Have you gone to Congo? Call the name of Jesus. Through the covenant, under that name, you can conquer demons. You can overcome problems. Call upon Jesus. Amen. Amen. Get your mantle, please. I think you've benefited from this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can I tell you this story? One day, you can have your seat. You've been One day, it was during a counseling session here. And so people came. And I asked them where they were coming from. And they told me they were coming from a village called Nalusuga. And I was like, okay. So what's your problem? And they told me they had a patient. And I asked them, why didn't you bring the patient? They're like, this patient is unable to work. We've taken them to almost every hospital, but everything has failed. We've taken this patient to shrines, but we have decided to try here. They directed them to this place. They're not born again. Point of contact. So I told them so they didn't know anything. So I told them to give me a handkerchief. I cannot get them but the anointing can move through this handkerchief. So go and place it upon your patient. What sickness are they suffering from? The chest is swollen and, and it's witchcraft and that the chest is going to burst. So I prayed for them. I prayed for the handkerchief. And they took the hanky back home. On getting home, they placed the handkerchief upon the, the patient's chest. By evening, the chest had restored back to normal. Had been restored back to normal. Now the husband is a spinach farmer. They have a huge farm. He would wake up in the morning and go and, and prune and weed and would harvest the ready one and take it to Kalere Market. Now I did don't. And the, the lady was already fine. When she was going to sleep, they put the handkerchief in the pillowcase. The handkerchief had become a talisman. They would always have it. In the morning, to, they woke up to go to the garden with the hanky. Because it is the hanky that healed them. They looked for the hanky and failed to find it. And they lost it. They got everything out of the bedroom. But the hanky was nowhere. And he called the wife. And he told her, You tell me where my hanky is. So he kicked and slapped her. Like, I'm the one who brought it. How, how you, people you, must you must have taken it to another person. 
So what the wife did. She ran very fast. And she disappeared through the banana plantation. Because the man was very bitter. Now, she tried to come back later still to see what was happening at home. She then found that the husband had discovered where the husband was. When he looked further, he got the pillow out of the pillow case and it landed out of the pillow case. Then he regained his joy. Did you hid it under the pillow in the pillow case? <laughs> you cannot defeat men. So why have I given her back her shawl? Don't be like that man. God didn't rebuke him because he was not a believer. If God uses something, He has used it for that particular purpose. The following day, He will use something else. Don't put your eyes upon that that Jesus has used, that the Lord has used. Have you understood? At times, that is why I don't pray for points of contact. Instead of you believing God, people take their eyes off the God who has worked and put their eyes upon the mantle or the point of contact. And that is where the wrong doctrines are stem. People start worshipping things instead of worshipping the God who does them. Amen. It is true that the anointing can enter that cloth. But the anointing also enters these carpets. And all these things as you the see around here. Even that ceiling is anointed. Even the seats upon which you are seated. That is why when God is moving, I no longer burden myself to lay my hands upon people. I just command and, and then the anointing all over does whatever you If need be, I lay my hands upon people. If there is no need, then I don't lay my hands upon you. Because I know that the anointing is anointed. Even the dust that you step upon is anointed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You were a destroyer. God called you to destroy the works. So first understand what works of the devil that you have to destroy. Amen. Amen. Are you tired? They should give you a sash. They're going to give us a song called Zoe's song. So I think we have a There are those strokes from the disco yeah. for the disco and those of church come. If you pull strokes, you are not supposed to I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I you. you. Ani? Musimenta. Musimenta. That is how you can kumusima. Okay. That is how you can appreciate Don't ask her. us how you can kumusima. Totubuze ngejo solo musima. Okay. Sumula.
Akonka wereza juli Praise the Lord. This is great. Thank you. Thank you. But we thank you for singing well. You've looked at this one who has danced. And you've forgotten the one who sang the song. Where are you, the God of Zoe? She's the one who has brought me here. If you please me, tomorrow she will come. Who says she should come back to me? Now, this time, out, even the owner of the song, I shall be singing live. She will be singing live. You'll be seeing her with her queen dancer. Ah. 
Hugar. lipstick and a hairstyle. And your strokes are good to go. They should give you another bottle of water. The Lord is good. But the Lord is good by the way. She's come a long way. We used to be here during There's someone who discovered her for me. It was Ibra. It's like you, you should look the other side. She had taken over the she And everyone was gazing at her. And I was like, please move. I got her. And I was like, you're not still only the attention. You come here to the front. But I think is, may God really bless you. What is your jedi now? She sells uh, children's crocs. But I told you to go ahead with the other business. But you refused. How is the business going? That's over. That time, I'm going to go to the business. I'm going to go to the business. I only have 20 pairs of the army. I'm going to go to the business. You, you make us glad, so you should always fellowship. If you don't see you, we feel bad. How many of you love Docas? Look around and see. See the voice. <laughs> Even the other side that Irene you young and is in the middle of the raised two hands, saying, I, I'm your diehard. Praise the Lord. Praise now, to destroy the works. How do you do it? First, it's so so calm. Calm. First, no emidim. If you see something that uh, subtracts from you, know that it comes from the devil. Or you know where you are. The church must increase. The family must increase. Uh, your money must increase. But if you see subtraction, that is not a good sign. And even God uses a plus sign. He used a plus, plus sign to redeem man. That is the, the sign of the cross. Which means that God uses, okay, delights in your addition. Amen. Amen. So, Whenever you see addition, it means that there is a blessing of God. Whenever you see subtraction, it can either be a curse or a work of the devil. So what you have to do, so called studying. Subtraction, those are the works of the devil. Killing, stealing and destroying, those are the signs that show that there's something bad that in the demon you have to arrest. So when you arrest the devil, you bind it, uproot it, and cast it in the wilderness. Bind, uproot, cast in the wilderness, then plant. We are in the world of spirits. When you uproot a bad spirit, you release a good spirit. Amen. Amen. So, if you want to overcome, you use the name of Jesus. Why? Because Jesus rules over His kingdom spreads over a role. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus it will reign everywhere. Wherever the sun shines. His kingdom shall spread. Wherever the sun shines, Jesus brings. So use the name of Jesus to stop the works of the devil. Amen. Another thing, use the word of God. 
The devil is darkness. And the word of God is light. If you want to get rid of darkness, just know where the switch of the light is. Put on the light, darkness will go. So when you speak the word, the word has the power to destroy the works of the devil. Learn to speak the word of God. The written and the rima. The logos and the rhema. The written and the spoken word. We have the word of God on us. You have prophecies on you. The promises of God in the Bible. Whenever you speak them, you overcome the works of the devil. Learn to destroy the works of the devil. It is you that makes your own world. That's why God called you a God. You can create your world. The responsibility which was given to Adam and Eve is to cultivate the garden. Amen. Amen. But when you look at cultivation, when you look at the, the, the depth of this thing, of this ministry, you have to remove the weeds from the crops that is uprooting and planting. Amen. Amen. It needs you to know this that I have is not good. So I don't need it. It doesn't bring forth fruit. You remove it. When you are praying, look around and see. Any plantation which your father did not plant, uproot it. You're the farmer. Now we are here and we are about to wind up with our farm. But you can cultivate. You can cultivate the land till December. Not a plan is a Satan. And you kill the plans of the devil. Have you understood? Plan. plan. Every, every time you see it, know that after a plan, there is a, a building, or there is something that is going to Or there is something that is going to be done. Before someone goes, does anything, they first plan. Don't wait for you to plan. You just see enough confusion. Wake up every morning. Kill the plans of the devil. For that day. Through prayer. Use your tongue. Your tongue is a perfect tool. Perfect tool. Because the Bible says life and death lies in the power of the tongue. Use your tongue. The sorcerers use their tongue to destroy us. Amen. Use your tongue every morning to kill the plans. When you kill the plan, it is like you have killed the but seed. When you kill the seed, there's no way you're going to see the fruit. Do not wait for the devil. He's very cunning. Kill him when he's still at the plan. A plan to make you cry every day. Because your tears is his joy. The demon that has caused you to cry in hell is given a medal. Now that plan before you even see its fruits be, uh, smite it be, before it comes to pass learn to store up prayer the day that you haven't lived the week that you haven't lived know that the devil has a plan for it set it on fire kasuka Kasuka cast the missiles upon them. Plan is on now. Smite all the plans. Plan is a satan is in Mezo Guja. The plans of the devil is on now to Zukumako Murido to Sazam Murinia. In the name of Jesus. 
Now the demons are very organized. Yet they confuse people the most. They don't get out of the destination. Before they know their destination. Orders. They have orders. Plan. And they have a plan. The pastor, the now, take this down. Oh, to the other side. Londo, Londo. Monitor this one. And they even give them the monitoring spirits. Amen. Amen. Now the monitoring spirits. If they've given you a plan, that you're going to start from Mutundu, and then you move on to Kasanga, and then you move on to this place, and they get a hold of the plan and burn it, you will not know what to follow. Have you understood? In summary, every day set on fire the agendas of the devil. Tell them, Tell them the devil's agenda. Wake up and set them on fire. You have the weapon. Use your tongue to destroy the plan. How can a person who doesn't have a plan build? What do they have to do? They only build according to their own plans. Plan. He told us that he can even it a plan. It is a plan before the what plan They tell you get the plan of the house built for me. So many of us don't know how to interpret this plan. But the devil knows how to interpret the plan. plan. When he gets the plan, one of the demons that gets it a hold of the plan, it comes with several other demons that it commands. Just like he can and plan. And he has other builders who he tells that build like this, do this. There's only one person who reads the plan. Saying the name of Jesus. Saying the name of Jesus. Every demon plan that has a plan to destroy me. Make me poor. I arrest you. I beg you. I set you in the name of Jesus. The plan of the agenda of Satan. The agenda of the devil. In the month of July. In the month of August. In the month of September. You on fire. Be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Have you heard? He was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. When you destroy the plans, you've destroyed the works. The devil can be disorganized. Not knowing where he's to start from. Until he goes back. He doesn't get tired. He goes back to the meeting. And he said the plan was burnt with fire. That is why every day when he comes back, come back and also destroy. Some of the plans of the devil is to clothe you with rags. You know that in the Bible the devil clothed the, the priest Joshua with rags with filthy clothes. Like isn't it why we were reading at night? Isn't it why he was reading? The Lord wants you to read the Bible. I'll cast out the demon who watches watch. soaps. What demon do you have? A novel. Of novels. Sleeping. Wow. Okay. Zechariah 3.3 Mm. says now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and was standing before the Zachariah angel satus, satus. Mm -hmm. now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and was standing before the angel mm. then he answered and spoke to those who stood before him saying mm. take away the filthy garments from him mm. and to him he said see I have removed your iniquity from you and now clothe you with rich robes Amen, Amen. Mm. Zachariah Satu Satu mm. Era Yosua Yari Ayamba Dengo Yezeko, Nai Midida Masoga Malaika. Nadam Nagam Baba Badi by Midida Masoge, Nayoga Anti, Mumambula Kengo Yezeko, Nagam by Suanti, Lava, Quiziza Kebu Bibo, Nang and Nakamba Zebiamba de Vitain Kanika. Mukama Evas with Nakamba Zebiambaro. I'll clothe you with your Ganich Yavrunjevitain Kanika. 
with rich rooms. And measurable ropes. No one shall be measured up to you. God will give you money that no one can measure up with you. You understand? If anyone you is to leave, you must be ahead of everyone. That's why God calls us heads. Yes, so Garashi katuna Twitter mitwe. Omuto gwa guli kubigere wa guli wa guru. Is the head on the ground, or the feet, or up? Ogumu kumuni mugu asetan. One of the roles of the devil. Is to clothe you with filthy garments. Enzina. To clothe you with filthy garments. Enzina. The filthy garments are not respected at all. Say in the name of Jesus. I strip off the filthy garments. I strip off the filthy garments. In the name of Jesus. I set them on fire. I set them on fire. Let them be destroyed. That die. Zina. The filthy garments be destroyed. Let go of my house. Let go of my shop. Let go of my home. Go into that white In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know we preach as we pray. We preach as we pray. Now we are praying. Yes, Praise Jesus. The other thing that the devil wants to do besides clothing you with dirty garments, clothing you with dirty garments he wants to make you forgotten. God used to tell the children of Israel that after you get into your body, you should never forget the Lord your God who drew you out of the land in the house of slavery. In the house of slavery. Slavery, yes. What the devil wants is for you to be forgotten. To be to you, for you to forget every time you forget the lion and the bear that you kill. You will not have the faith to kill Goliath. Every time you, remember, you forget that God gave you a job when you were jobless. When you get a challenge today, you'll be like one who God has never worked for. Now the demon that after stealing testimony, they make you forget the sorrow that you underwent. But God told Moses, and Moses kept telling the children of Israel. He used to charge them that you should never forget the Lord your God who drew you out from the land of Egypt. Remember that you were slaves. Every time you remember, even if you're up there, whenever you compare yourself with your background, you always be thankful. You will always rejoice in the Lord. Why? Why? Because we don't compare ourselves I to other people. I compare myself with my background. Mr. Mchibi, even if you don't have a, a, a hundred million today, but if you remember that time when you did have a million, but today you have it. And today people even have billions of billions which are on the account. But they don't even have a building of one floor. You have the faith. That the Lord who started a good work in you is, is not going to leave you. He's going to accomplish it. Even if he takes a break. But he comes back and returns. And he takes me till perfection. And I'd like to tell you. He who started a good work in your life. Is going to accomplish it. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, never forget. Pastor Twina Habat has a song that I'll never forget. I will never forget. Don't ever forget. 
Every time we forget that used to be on the streets in Dubai. No yingira ni mo overstay. And even when the visa had run out, when the visa had run out, you came online to kusabi na nofuno murim. You came online and reported. Ngorua de doto chari na buzibu. And today you don't have any. Ne we rabida. But you forget. Toge na kujamu church. You're not going to come to church. Ne buri do jukira. But every time you remember. Kama na eruli na rewind. You say, but this is how I used to be in the past. Katonde yanyamba na zjakule. The God who helped me and took me off that level changes not. He's still the same. Even the problem that I have is going to deal with it. Amen. Amen. Say you demon that makes me forget. I overcome you. I destroy you. In the name of Jesus. I cast you. Go. Let go of my family. Let go of my mind. So I can remember where the Lord got me. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 David used to guard himself of that. When he got issues with God, he saw that he had uh, lost his joy of salvation. He didn't ask for money. He told God, Restore unto me the joy of salvation. Every time you have the joy, joy does not move along. It moves hand in hand with you. Joy and peace move hand in hand. Every time, Check whether you still have your joy. Joy and peace are very important things in salvation. First and foremost, the Apostle Paul says, the peace of the Lord which surpasses all human understanding will keep your hearts, your minds, and your minds in Christ Jesus. Every time you have peace, peace that God gives, you stay in salvation. You have hope because you have peace within you. Amen. Amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. If you don't want to be weak, keep the joy. The joy of the Lord. How do you keep the joy of the Lord? Remind yourself of the promises of God. Amen. Amen. Do a work in yourself and remind yourself of the testimonies, the testimonies of other people. When your joy, hope rises, when your hope is renewed, even the joy of the Lord will flow in your life. Guard yourself so you don't lose your hope. When you have hope, you automatically have the joy. Because someone rejoices because they have hope that their tomorrow shall be better than that today. You can say, because of the hope, the joy comes up from within you. The joy comes up from within you. The devil wants to kill your joy and also your hope. Born again, we live on, on the, as a life of promises. We rely on promises. I know that your husband likes to be a son of man. But the Lord is not a son of man that he should be. We live on the promises of God because lie. people lie. But the Lord never lies. Whatever he promised, he shall do it. He shall do for you whatever he promised you. How and when belongs to him. It is not you who does it. He is the one who does it. Just rest and wait upon you. him. You see him do it. His ways are not our ways. When you look through your ways, there is no, no way out. But God has his own ways. Through his own ways, he will heal your diseases. In his own ways, he will make you rich. In his own ways, he will take you abroad. In his own plans, 
everything will be perfect in its right time. Praise the Lord. As I finish, we were called to destroy the works of the devil. Every morning, destroy the plans, confuse the devil, destroy the agenda of the devil, then confuse the demons, send confusion in the camp of your enemies. That, that, that weapon is great. Even God used it. They were building the, 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 the Tower of Babel. Do you know what God did? He said, Let's come down and confuse them. The person who is confused, they cannot make up their mind. The person who is confused, they cannot attain confusion. Confusion is very bad, that is why the devil sends it to you. But use it to confuse demons, to confuse your enemies. Amen. Because the devil usually uses that. Rather, God overuses it, so also uses it to destroy the works of God. It is you that has to destroy them. Not your neighbor. It is you that has to destroy the works of the devil. When you are destroying, know that there are those things that follow you from your clan. And that there are those things that start with you in your generation. And the clan is twofold. Your maternal side, your paternal side. And when you grow up, it even increases, it gets to another level. Where you got married, to, where you were you and where you married from. Now, when you were smart, just smart from the maternal side. From your grandfather, where I had my children, where I married from. All those are covenants. Why you married? You joined the covenant of that. Man. And they said, We have begotten you. And they they the, demons. the demons are already that, that even this child has joined us. Why you've had your children? It is a covenant that follows you. Mama Jiava. Why your mom came from? And why your father came from? Those covenants follow you. And also the covenant of the family in which you married. Or why you got married to. Now four corners. You have to examine those four corners. The four corners of the world of suffering. You have to smite them. You have to smite them. But for you, only five points. The demons that follow the Baganda. Baganda Do you think it's only the Baganda? Mentioning a Baganda. You mention the Baganda. And you mention your totem. The orange spirit. That follow the Mutima clan. Bandiga. The people from the Ndiga clan. The people from Manba clan. They, they study a lot, but they are poor. There are some people that the devil tells you study hard but be poor. When they've exhausted the all the devils of study, the devil shuts all the ways of money and gives them a gift of booze. And, and, and speak all the English there is in the world. They, by the time they die, they've, they've drunk. Everything. When you get saved, there is an anointing to destroy the works. The works of the devil using the word of God. Of course, the name of the big man. He rules over all. Wherever the sun You use the name of the big man. That is the name of Jesus. You use the testimonies to destroy the works of the devil. Actually, I cannot forget this. Encouraging yourself in the Lord. Always encourage yourself. I shall go through this. So and so was able to go through this. What did they have? I'd like to thank God. That is a seed that I sowed in these people. But I've seen it sprout. I'm the one who first had it. 
I'm testifying. I know how to strip myself of the glory. And I, I present to you the shame for me. I tell you that I didn't have anything to my name. Why do I say that? I say that to help you who are thinking your name. So you can remember that even if you never saw me, but I once lived in the life but the Lord has done a work step by step until the level I am at today. Amen. Amen. You also have to encourage yourself. Don't doze off while people testify. Testimonies are something very important. And every day you should remember that the Lord doesn't lift us at once. He takes us step by step. And always each step is a miracle. Learn to be patient. Encourage yourself in the Lord. That this too shall come to an end. Even whatever you're passing through will come to an end. There's no prayer of anyone. That the Lord is not going to answer. There is no, there's no prayer. God is not a cheat. God doesn't forget his own. Isaiah 49 15 says that can a woman uh, forget her child? Isaiah 49 15 says. Omukazi ayinze okwera biro mwana wa yonka mm. obutasa sira mwana wa ndaye mm. we wawo abo bayinze okwera bira na yesi kwera bitanga gwe amina gaba muno mukaba tagenda kwera bira tell your neighbor that the lord is not going to tagenda kwera bira he's not going to forget tagenda kwera bya anto lina mabanja he's going to forget that you have debt tagenda kwera bira anti bank ekunonya he's going to forget that the bank is looking for you ala yide he has sworn Aga. And he said that the, uh, the, the child. The same way a woman cannot forget her nursing child, I will not forget you. That I engraved your name in the palms of my hands. He engraved you in the palms of his hands. Hallelujah. Amen. God knows you. God loves you. He cannot leave you alone. He knows even the enemies around you. And he shall smite them. He shall not smite them without your knowledge. He promised to smite them well. from before you as you were. Pray for yourself. I pray that at them when my enemies shall be smitten from before me in the name of Jesus. I pray for that and thank you. There's a village. There was a, a, a man who used to brag, a youth. You know how those he people are. He bought a bicycle and he used to abuse everyone because he had a bicycle. So he took the mad guards off the bicycle. He took, them carrier, off. He took off the carrier. And it, it looked like a sport bike. Sports bike. After leaving the garden, at around four, he would ride it having washed it from the garden. And he would go around the town center. He used to brag and insult everyone. So one day, that's like you know the life in villages. People are very idle. The youths gather up in town center and listen to what has happened in Kampala. All of them used to despise them. So one day he came with his bicycle. He used to uh, dive and do all kinds of movements as he rode his bicycle. And in, in the village, to have a bicycle, it's like one who owns a Benz. So one day, and God planned. It was the maize season. When the maize cobs were all over, the young man came and negotiated a bend. The tire hit the maize cob. 
and he got an accident in, in the town center when he got that bicycle accident his pants never got torn but they burst the trousers became a skirt and he first got up and looked at it and left when he was so ashamed with his bicycle he didn't use that truth I pray that God will do that for you your enemy let your enemy be fired from before you. by the time they turn their face may it happen to you in the name of Jesus may God smite an enemy of yours from before I pray that God will do this for us that he will prepare a banquet for us before our enemies do you know what a banquet is? That table that is filled with God. And let God come and see. When your enemy is over there, start enjoying a piece of chicken. When he cannot even ask. But when he's so hungry, that shall happen to our enemies in the name of Jesus. Another thing that I ask for after the fast, may God exalt you. and may our enemies be blessed. Say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. The other thing I ask God to do after this fast, I pray whoever has been asking, those who be witches, those that blow pipes, I pray to God that they go to and we go up 14 levels in the name of Jesus. They have received that. Do you know why? The enemies must be under your foot. I want God to lift you. Until the enemy can no longer see your head but under you. Say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. If you're still at the same level, and you're still at the same level, he's still opening you because he can still see your face. But it's very good. And you rise up the more. Hurry up. Be Get up the chair. The enemies at that level. And you are at that level. If it was not the pulpit, she would have no one was saying, I was If there was an Until we can see. Say, be it unto it has to happen. Say, may it happen. If you want your enemy to just uh, so he can no longer see your face. But wherever he falls sick is not where you go. Wherever you do business is where you don't do business. He does business from Gayaza and you do your business. Every time he tries to go to America, America, you do your business from America. You bought a border. He bought a border. They'll spend a year without seeing you. 
Mukama akujemu taxi woba domu sinkana Akuwe moto kayo Mulinye ilia yesu Mukama akujemu woba dosula May God take you out of your place of residence Ochusene nechifo And even change place E nyumbe sigala yo Tojitunda Jipangi se Don't sell it, you rent it out The person who was residing in Sasa Don't you stay in Sasa Gwe usula Chitukutwe Mama gamanya mwaga jawa Why did you get such names? Ama bi Chitukutwe Such ugly names Kama yeba ziwe Praise the Lord Mama Chitukutwe Chitukutwe Ulira Listen to this. You were sleeping, you residing in Chikubamutwe. Chikubamutwe. Don't uh, shift to Chikubamutwe. Oh, situke. Mukama akutua robiri banga. Wosula ngatachaya na wa kutukira ko. May your enemy not be able to locate even your place of. Gama chimbe ko kuvari ro. Muri nyari ayes chimbe ko. Jesus may it be upon me. Guni tosa ni sarulimi. Don't joke with that. Olimi, olimi insi namba. Ya boga me chimbe ko. May it be upon. Chimbe ko. May it be upon. Muri nyari ayes. Ya kuchiba. I shall be eat. That is the only way to the level. For God to lift your level. The enemy used to meet you in a taxi, but now he is no longer. The enemy used to find you in a taxi, but now you buy from Nakasero. You go to Nakasero, and you buy all that you want from Nakasero Market. Amen. Amen. There's a place where you can buy milk, but now you buy milk. And you milk your cow from home. You buy milk from home. You buy milk from home. And you milk your cow from home. Omulabe ya kusanga nga mkatale Katu olina famu ye mmere Tocha agena mkatale Otema mnimiro yo Nsaba katonda chikukuri Nsaba chikugoberele Nsaba chikubeko Murinye ria yesu Omulabe abada kuruanyi Siza mdipartment Mkubanga ya supervisor Nsaba katonda kuze Kuberenga guo mfuga And you will be Muri nyeri ya Yesu Gama chimbe ko Say I receive it Umulaba wabada kusangeri mchibina jemujaloni Your enemy was finding you in those saving groups where you get those from The ladies can I hear your name What are the names of those saving groups Nesuko kolima Nigina you see those saving groups that is where the enemy was fighting so that they can no longer see you may you even feel the place that you've been working from by the time they ask they cannot even pronounce the name of the building when the name is too English Maria's Galeria Maria's Galeria Maria's Galeria Nama Maria's Galeria I mean Maria's Galeria Ya manibikira Maria Mukama Eva Ziwe Nsaba Katonda Akusitule I pray that the Lord will lift you Jova Do Gure Mere Wherever you are Jova Do Akusinkana Amere Ngatacha Akusinkana I never meet you again Murinye Ria Yesu The name of Katona Kuchusi Zemoto Ka Gamba Chimeko Seme it be upon me they used to know you but may you buy pipe and the Lord change a car for you may you drive the kind that is that one model 2022 don't you think it's possible is it possible tell your neighbor whatever the Lord he can do it again so many of you now may it come to you the line of may you be the name Jesus is there I take it Amen Amen 
Gambo kuvali hiru so Nze nginda kubamu gaga Sige na kubamu avu Ngobo obu avu Mumakagan Mumakagan Ne kutula kubu avu Obu ve watata Ne wa mama Jena zara abana Jena fumbirwa Ne jena washa Wonambu kutula Mbukumako muriro Mbushanya o Murinye ria esu Amina Amen Ati bobanga wazala kwa muindi Now if you've ever said a child Second born inga ka China And your second born is a Chinese Third born inga ka Nubi And your third born is a Nubian Ka fourth born inga ka Sudan And your fourth born is a Sudanese And siyo ya gaziwa your work is broad so you have to be broad 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 all those children come with covenant so that battle has say in the name of Jesus wherever I search wherever I follow 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 Enrade genda Otasoma genda Obutu genda Okuruwa la luwala Okwecha anga To lose people To lose money I come against you In the name of Jesus Die In Jesus name Amen Lastly You need people In your circle You need important people You need important people Abantu abagasa. Important people. Amen. Amen. Echokubiri. Secondly, you need money. Weta gasenti. You don't need debts. Te weta gamabanja. You need money. Weta gasenti. And when you get money, without debts, that money grows from glory to glory. Say the people. You get a bank Say the people. That don't benefit. The parasites. I chop. The name of Jesus. Debts. That cause me to leave. Ngambi ya mabanja genda Murinye ria yesu Mukama Mpasente Chawa andikiwa Nti nja kuwola Sija kuwola Mukama mpasente Nsaba sente Murinye ria yesu Mpasente Ezimbe nyumba Mpasente Ezome sabana Mpasente Ezo kuzimba Manifo Ezukuletaka, mukama nsaba sente. Ezokola, ezemirimu, mpakapito, murinyeri ya Yesu. Mukama mpa sente, mpa sente, murinyeri ya Yesu. Mukama, mpa bantu, mpa bantu abo mugasu. Give me people of benefit. Mpa bantu, give me people. They will take a take. That you prepare. Ngabali ingasa, ngabali nyamba. Mukama bampe, mukama barete, barete, muri nyeri ya Yesu. Abantu bonna, all the people, abane take ako, that impose themselves, be kutura ako. I break myself from them. Abu benakura nabo, the ones I grew up with, the ones I studied with, mutwa kubanga nabo disiko, the ones that we, abu mbaka kutura, I break them, be kutura ako, I break loose, banzi towerera, nsabu mpa abantu, I pray that you, abantu. Zimba, aban pabula, aban kanslinga, ben saba, ubare temu kama, muri nyeri ya Yesu, na temu kama nsaba. Once again, Lord, I pray that you will provide for me. Fukumuri mixa, pour out your blessings. Mukama ampaba anto abanjaga. Lord, give me people who love me. Muri nyeri ya Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Kali uri la njaga lo sabaya abantu musamba ba kuagara katunda ba kuwe. I want you to ask God for seven people. Only seven people. Who love them? Who love you? Saba. Pray. Yeri jeva kocha wacha. Ola banga batali. Saba. Mukaba. Uli dok saba kofe. Tuwe ya bantu. Abatuwa gala. Inyo. Atemukama tuwe ngaba gaga. 
Give us rich people. Lord, don't give me poor people. Lord, Leaders, Lord, I want only rich people to love me. Why president wa Kenya Why wouldn't the president of Kenya love president me? Let the presidents love us. We don't we are not in politics. Just love us. Love me and host me so that I can stay in Rwanda. I don't know about the one in Tanzania. That one should first wait for me. <laughs> I want the, the Queen of UK to love. She looks stingy. Though. I want the king of Saudi Arabia to Dubai. The king of Dubai. Such people. Such people. God, God but but Get a hold of your offerings. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much. We are coming back tomorrow. This is the week in which we are going to rest. Uh, but we are going to rest. On Friday, it's when we are going to wind up with our fast. That is the that is Eid. 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 Eid and have faith that we have not prayed in vain. God has never told the seed of Jacob. Tell your neighbor, I've not sold the Lord in vain. Tell them I have not prayed in vain. I have not hid, been hit by the dust. In vain. And let my enemies wait for me. I have come in the name of the Lord. Say, money, wait for me also. 
Ninda kulia cash no buvuna nyizibwa. I'm going to enjoy my cash responsibly. Chukira muno mugame tondisa cash wange bubi. Turn to your neighbor and tell them don't make me not enjoy my cash. Hallelujah. Kali ngatuge no kuwayo. As we are going to give. Tuge na kusaba Zoe atwe yo luyimba. We're going to request Zoe to give us a song. Ne no muzinywe. With a queen dancer. Anyote kumaza gawera. She has taken enough water. Eh, yango. Come. Nere Yesu, Yesu. But please mind the sash. Yesu. Let's clap for Zoe. Oh, you celebu a fe. She's our celebrity. E chibuga chimukaba ne uba mumu abachi. Muba na abantu abama ni nete muta balaba. You have people, but you don't recognize them. E basa ya seed dollar. Is that a dollar seed? Dollar seed. Dollar chikumi tuwa. Ah, mukubi de kumungalo. Hallelujah. As she sings, you offer hey, the new 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 you first want to listen hey, to the new song. New okay, get the money As you uh, offer and then you hey, go to take one. Put the basket here. Habari kwa online buli jomo yitibwa ko katonda you miss out on god ne tuwayo mwe ne mutawayo we offer but you don't send the insigo yang ogabane mafuta gabadde wanga send your seat so that you share into the anointing that was in this place engalo when i think about your power makes me wanna dance and shout hallelujah when I think about your greatness, when I think about your love, oh, makes me wanna dance. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to you, Lord. Creator of the universe, my rock of salvation, who can be against us? If God is I son, Lion of Judah, author and finisher of a faith, you may so wanna shout hallelujah 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 to you lord hallelujah 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 to you lord hallelujah 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 to you about you Jesus oh that amazes me we hate to lift you up Jesus and we hate to praise your name oh Lord praise your name praise your name you make us wanna shout Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to you, Lord. 